Ida for asking my bio mom what she expected. I 15F was born when my parents were 18 and 19 during their freshman year at college. It was unplanned, but my dad wanted to keep me but my bio mom Annie didn't, so they made a compromise where Annie didn't abort me and would instead sign away all of her rights to my dad who would have full custody. Annie and my dad didn't really speak for the rest of the time at college, and Annie requested that my dad not contact her since she was moving from their hometown. My grandparents were the main people helping out my dad as I grew up, and my dad told me what happened when I was 13 after I asked about it, because he started dating my soon-to-be stepmom, Madison. I resented Annie a little bit for not being around before realizing it was better to not have her in my life since she didn't want me. Besides, if she was still around, my dad might have not met his fiance, who I consider my mom already. X200B Recently, Annie has reached out to my dad about reconnecting with him and me. My dad shot down the reconnecting with him part because of Madison but he was open to letting her reconnect with me as long as I wanted to know her. Madison was not open to this and thought Annie would just hurt me, but my dad convinced her that we could cut her back out of our lives since she didn't have any rights anyway. After a long talk, I agreed to meet her out of curiosity about what she's been up to. X200B For some reason, my dad decided to invite Annie to our Thanksgiving dinner rather than schedule a meeting at Red Lobster or something. I thought it was strange but didn't say anything. It was a bit awkward at first, but we eventually started talking more freely during dinner. I did dodge some more personal questions, but I thought it was a good conversation overall. X200B After my grandparents left, Annie was still there and we started to load the food into the fridge. Annie offered to help so my dad and Madison let her get the food into Tupperware containers alongside me. It was silent before Annie broke it by complaining that I treated her like a stranger rather than my mother and that I wasn't very emotional. I was kinda stunned by the treating her like a stranger part, and I only asked what did she expect. Annie looked like she was going to protest or something before my dad said it was best that she get home since it was getting dark and we'd finished cleaning up by ourselves. Annie left, and we finished cleaning up. My dad stopped me before I went to my bedroom, and said that my response was kinda callous and that I should more empathetic to Annie because it must have taken a lot of courage for her to reach out. X200B, 